Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to show you a quick video of how I have updated my inventory room because I started selling appliance parts and I'm running out of space, so let's go ahead and launch this reseller robo. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm glad you're here. Um, if you're a regular subscriber of mine, you know that I've been selling clothing, solely clothing on eBay and Poshmark for about two and a half years. And I just recently made the decision to start adding appliance parts again to my store. With that comes several um, complications. One, I don't have very much space to begin with. And so I'm having to make more space. The more appliance parts that I get, the more space I'm having to make. So I'm having to do a lot of consolidation. So I'm going to take you over to a section of my inventory room that I've done the major work on this morning. If I can just get around here. Okay. This is practically um, all, this is uh, shorts, boot cut jeans, uh, straight leg jeans, skinny jeans, capris uh, on this on this whole aisle and then we start with the novelty items over here so this was all boot cut section right here and so what I did was I'm selling very few boot cut jeans anymore I just can't find them and so my boxes have been emptying and so what I did was I consolidated the boxes I've got several behind me as well I'll use those boxes for other things and I wanted to have a place that was eye level for carafts and things like that water tanks for machines so I just I've got my boot cut section split boot cut up here boot cut down there I need to be able to see the carafts easily um, in order for it to take me just less than 30 seconds to find it and so I made this space I put bungee cords so that if something gets pushed from behind uh, accidentally these carafts should stop technically I don't know that that's gonna happen um, this is a tube for a vacuum cleaner um, but anyway, technically that should stop them. I may put one more bungee cord a little bit lower. I just don't want any of them to accidentally fall, which is why I don't put carafts on the top. Plus it's hard to get them. So as you can see, I have carafts here, blender jars, um, food processor bowls, things like that on this side. And then on this side over here, this is my major, um, appliance part section here. It's right by my back door I mean my garage door so I'm sorry I can't go back any farther but so I have split uh, I have a lot of Hamilton Beach Ninja Mr. Coffee Black and Decker and Cuisinart and Delonghi so they all have their own box I did today start another box just of uh, Cuisinart filters and then Cuisinart just other things is in the back as I get more and more parts though I plan to split them like I did before where I have Cuisinart black items, Cuisinart white items, Cuisinart clear items. But right now I don't have enough, so that's good. And then after that, I have A through B, C through D. I have them labeled by the alphabet, by brand. And they go too deep, so there's some behind there. And then on this shelf, I cleared it, moved everything down. And then this is like my water tanks, things like that. This is from my dishwasher, I mean from my microwave plate um and mostly this is water tanks over here guys you have to make it easy on yourself um appliance parts are uh, their own animal and the main thing is you don't want them falling off of a shelf and breaking and you want to be able to find them quickly and this is this is the way I've done it in the past and I never did the alphabetical thing. I just had miscellaneous. I probably had five miscellaneous boxes and it was crazy. So I came up with this way. I hope it works. I'll go ahead and just show you, you know, how the rest is going. I apologize. This is actually our garage and we have a lot of junk in it. So for those of you who haven't been on my channel before, you haven't seen this. So on this side, I have items that are skewed by color solid color pretty much so we have blue burgundy brown gray green orange pink purple red yellow and white on that side and black is over here um, my sweaters i keep in tubs 
and usually they don't have lids but this one has a lid um, I'm not gonna be able to fit as many in this one but I put all my sweaters in tubs because I can't get them in these boxes and and then over here starts my other section this is from my old inventory system a b c d e f but i use that for items that don't really have a pattern or they just have some kind of funky pattern on it and they don't apply here's camo i'm getting ready to start a camo box i get so much camo um then we start in alphabetical order animal print floral all the way down floral goes all the way down this is where my my sweaters are so this is how I do it. I do have some rotisserie parts down there in a tub. I'm trying to stay away from tubs as much as possible, but it just cannot be helped with those large rotisserie pieces. So it looks right right now in my floral section. I'm getting ready to run out. I have all the way up to 394, and that's it. I don't have any more space for floral. But if you go over here to this shelf where the geometric pattern is, I have room for four more boxes there. So everything will kind of get moved down toward the floral section. You have to be really, really inventive in making space. And I do have a few spaces here, but looks like they're taken up also. So after floral comes geometric and then novelty items are on the other side, like I said, but they do continue on this side. Paisley, plaid, plaid continues over here, stripe, patterned. I have a lot of striped pieces. Looks like I have at least, where do we end here? 224 at least in the stripe patterns. Then it goes tie dye. Um, and then I start my watercolor patterns and watercolor is my last pattern. And then that brings us to black. So that's how I do it. I've never lost an item since I started categorizing my items this way. All of my clothing items, the first store category is by the SKU pattern and or color. And so as I'm doing inventory right now, I just pull all the watercolor items down. I go through the boxes. I make sure I have each piece. I make sure it's listed on eBay. I don't really worry so much about Poshmark. If it's not listed there, that's okay. And then I put them back into my drafts. And today I plan on finishing my red section. That will give me, right now I have about 70 drafts. But when I finish my red section, I'll probably have over 100 drafts ready to go. And I do let 30 go live a day. But half of those are usually items that I've inventoried. Guys, if you have any comments for me, I'd appreciate you putting it down below. Also, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with others. Remember, we're all in this business boat together. So... Paddle on.